here is Candace Owens, Ca Candice, Candace, um, last night on uh, Tucker Carlson's show talking about what else? George Soros. Obviously, this is the most important thing. Candace Owens is the host of Candace. She joins us tonight to unravel this mystery. So so here, Candace, thanks so much for coming in. So here, George Soros does not live in Austin, Texas. Don't think he ever has. He's not actually from this country originally. Why would he want Austin, Texas to have fewer police officers on the street? That's a very good question. And first and foremost, I'm so tired of the left pretending like we've picked George Soros to be our boogeyman. Like, oh, he's a bad guy, but there goes the right talk. Why do they all do that? Alex Jones does it. Uh, who was the second? Shoro, George Soros. About George Soros. Right. Every time this man spends money, it, it, it is towards an effort that is going to undo American civilization. Notoriously, obviously, he defunded Black Lives Matter, all the rioting, all the protests, the open foundation. He defunded Black Lives Matter? society, which which is his foundation, gave money to all of these causes. And you ask yourself why he's a billionaire. If he wanted to help people or help black people, he doesn't need to give it to Black Lives Matter. He can give it to tons of other causes that actually do work to help black people and don't right. destroy their communities. But here we have him again in the same type of initiative going against police officers. And you ask yourself why? Well, you know, if I'm going to fathom an idea or a theory as to why he's doing this, George Soros is a man that made his money in investment. So we have to ask ourselves, what is he doing? What is he investing? In that Man, she's really smart, huh? That would, his, his investments would go long. He would do well in his investments if America was undone, if major cities were undone. I don't know. Maybe he's going long on China. Why would he benefit from a, an Ameri America that doesn't really exist? It's weird because, like, even if you take the argument seriously, you and your you're George. So let's take the China example. You're George Soros or George Soros, as she says. You want your investments in China to do well. So you go, let's defund the police in Austin, Texas, because if Austin does poorly, then Texas does poorly. The U.S. does poorly. It gives an opportunity for China to do well. Well, we buy a whole bunch of the stuff that China makes. So if you destroy Austin, Texas, the people who live in Austin, Texas, now they lose their houses, whatever. They don't buy the stuff. China makes like I'm I'm trying to take the argument seriously, but it's so painfully stupid, not to mention it seems easier rather than investing in China and trying to destroy the US in some weird way to make your Chinese investments do well. Maybe just invest in the U.S. and don't try to destroy the U.S. Like it doesn't even pass a, a single sniff test. I've also said this to you many times in the past, Tucker, and I want to say it again. I think what the left is after more than anything is the federalization of the police force. I've been saying yes. this over and over again. Yeah, no, that's an authoritarian idea, and it's the right that wants that. I'm sick of this crap. Okay, uh, absolutely ridiculous. 